All right, so um, I finally got a chance to do this, and I do want to apologize to the people, and there's been many of them that wanted me to make a video for this. Um, I'm just been really, really busy with other things, uh, but I did get a chance to make it, so here it is. So this is the heart box. Now, right now, I still haven't sanded it and primed it or anything like this, but you guys wanted to see the mechanism in the back of the heart box. Now, I posted a video a long time ago um, showing this, but uh, there were a lot more people who joined my, my channel and had a bunch of questions, so here you go. So this is Robbie's heart box. Okay, so we'll turn it so it's not blind in there, everybody. There we go. So as you can see, the reflection off the panel key is almost like uh, sequential, almost kind of like uh, um, LEDs blinking back and forth. All right. So this is the hot box. Everything's flashing, doing its thing. Now they wanted to see also the mechanism in the back. So here's the mechanism in the back. So this is the battery pack that everything goes to. All right. There's the Geneva movement right there. And then there's the star drive moving back and forth, the wire in the star drive for the light, uh, for the OD that lights it up, these are the motors that turn the, the shaft with the can to the piano key, so there's a separate motor on the bottom and a separate motor on the top. And these are dual shaft motors, as you can see, and I picked these up off of uh, eBay or Amazon, I think it was eBay that. Um, but you have to buy a number of them at a time, but since I'm using multiple motors to do everything, it kind of works out really, really well. And it's all 3D printed. And it took a lot of uh, trial and error to get everything to, to work perfectly. Let's see if I can get a better shot here. There you go. And, um, as I said, I want durability when I build things for these things. And this is super durable. It works every single time. And it does take a little bit to get you know, used to how things work. All right, so the bearings that I use for this, for the spinning, are, um, uh, what do you call them, um, spinner bearings. You know, a little fidget spinner thing? Because they're smooth bearings, and you don't have to have grease. I think they're in, um, inner bearings. I'm not really sure what they are specifically, but you don't have to grease them up. And boy, are they smooth. I mean, there's no resistance to them. They do, and you can pick those up on Amazon with no problem. All right, so those of you who really wanted this video, um, I'm sorry it took me so long to do, uh, but I wanted to make sure that I got it out. And uh, I think it's one of the coolest designs for a robot part that I've ever seen. You know, everybody always does motors that turn and stuff like this, but to have all of this fancy stuff going off at the same time and I think it's all mechanically done is so freaking cool so eventually I'll get this sanded and primed and painted right now I'm in no gigantic hurry because um, I'm still working on the arms and I'm still working on uh, the waist and still working on the waistline okay all right well as I always say in the video happy printing